Introduction to God Sending Messengers and Prophets to Us and Why We Should Study About Prophet Muhammad, Peace Be Upon Him. How would one know their role and life purpose unless one receives clear and practical instructions of what God wants and expects of him or her? Here comes the need for prophethood. Thus, God has sent thousands of messengers and prophets to mankind to convey his message and communicate to us. Every nation on earth received a prophet. They all preached the same general message that there is only one deity worthy of worship. He is the one and only God, without a partner, son, daughter, or equal. God sent messengers and prophets to guide humanity from worshiping created beings and to worship their Creator, the Creator of all things. The prophets came to teach their people about who their Creator is, how to build a relationship with Him, and how to love Him. The prophets taught their people that life is only a test, where the successful will enter paradise eternally, and the unsuccessful will enter the ultimate punishment in the afterlife. Out of the infinite mercy and love of God, God continued to send messengers with books from God to guide humanity. Starting with Prophet Adam, including Noah, Abraham, Ishmael, Jacob, Moses, Prophet Jesus, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them all. Many of the prophets are found in Jewish and Christian traditions. All of the previous messengers and books, other than the Holy Quran and Prophet Muhammad, were sent down only to a specific group of people and were only meant to be followed for a particular period. For example, Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, was one of God's mightiest messengers who was sent down with the same general message of all the previous prophets, but was only sent to the children of Israel, the nation that lived before us, as their final prophet because they were disobeying the commandments of God and veering away from the laws sent down by the previous messenger, Moses, peace be upon him. Whenever God would send messengers with revelation after they passed, people would distort and change the revelations of God. What was pure revelation from God would be polluted with myths, words of men, superstitions, irrational philosophical ideologies, and idol worship. The religion of God was lost in a plethora of religions, such as how Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, was sent to reform the previous message sent before him by the previous messenger, Moses, peace be upon him. Prophet Muhammad came to reform Prophet Jesus' message since it was distorted by his followers and did not survive in its original form. When humanity was in the depth of the Dark Ages, God the Almighty sent his last and final messenger to mankind. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his final revelation, the Holy Quran, to redeem humanity. The Holy Quran and the final messenger, peace be upon him, affirmed everything that was revealed to all the previous messengers in the past. Unlike the past messengers and books, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was sent to all of humanity, and there will be no messenger or prophet after him, nor will there be a book after the Holy Quran, as both are meant to be followed by all people, not just a particular group of people, nor are they meant for a particular time frame. Both are meant to be followed by everyone until the end of time. Prophet Muhammad, a summarized story of God's last and final prophet, aims to introduce Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, derived from early Islamic sources, helping you better understand who Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was, and to instill a love for him. Studying the story and life of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the best way to develop that love for our prophet. Studying the life of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is an obligation given to us by our Creator and helps us better understand God's final book, the Holy Quran, and its context. We study the life of our final prophet to derive lessons and morals from his life that would help us better live our lives. God sent him as the perfect role model for us, who taught and demonstrated morality and the highest form of character one could have. We learn about him so we can follow and emulate him to better ourselves and get closer to God. In fairness to God, his religion, and yourself, your opinion of Islam, the Holy Quran, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, should be formed only after a careful study of Islamic sources, the Holy Quran and Hadith, the sayings of Prophet Muhammad. 
peace be upon him, are not from the media or third-party sources that are non-Muslim in origin.